Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Hey YouTube, Dawnboys Post 1975 and welcome to another Fat Friday video. A series of videos where I take a look at some of the more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street. Otherwise known as, more predominantly than not, I'm dying again. I've said it before and I'll say it again, even though it's frozen and this is genuine my genuinely my tea and I have not had the KFC today. Um, but stick frozen food in front of me and it's like the bell with Pavlov's dogs, isn't it? I just start salivating. Anyway, now you've got that attracted image in your head, let's carry on. Otherwise known as what have I bought from Iceland this week? I can't help it. Iceland just has the best range of some of the more interesting things you can find to eat in the high street compared to other supermarkets and more often than not it's limited edition outside of their scarily spicy range which i swear to god i've said it before and i'll say it again must have made them so much money has clearly put them on the map and other supermarkets are definitely copying that range they just have so much cool stuff that other people don't make I don't know why um so basically you've read the description and you've seen the thumbnail so once again you know exactly what I'm going to show you and also I'm really looking forward to this one even though I've only really been looking forward to it since uh this morning because this is another one one half of these ingredients I already had in my freezer but the other half of the ingredients and I didn't go into Iceland um, to buy anything specifically today. I was just out and about so I thought I'd have a pop in just in case something showed up and something showed up and I'm really looking forward to it. So anyway, first things first, I have salt and vinegar hula hoop potato shapes. Pretty sure everyone who watches this um, series of videos knows what hula hoops are. They are crisps. Um, all three people from outside of this country um, in North America Hula hoops are chips and this is a, for you guys, a fry based on a potato chip. For us though, this is a chip based on a potato crisp and basically it's much like it is in crisp form. It's a chunk of potato, obviously crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, like a chip, um, flavoured, flavoured like their crisp Brethren, in this case, salt and vinegar. Salt and vinegar is my favourite crisp flavour and it is the greatest crisp flavour. And when I tried the beef flavour months ago, I'm dying, I'm dying. Um, it was absolutely lovely and fantastic. And they had plain ones, but, well, they'll just be like regular chips. But when it comes to crisps, I don't see the point of plain. I mean, wh why do you eat something so you just taste salt? Um, why would you not have flavours? I don't understand, I'm confused. But I did not know they had salt and vinegar till a few weeks later. So when I saw these, I was absolutely bang on to get them. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to those. They've been in the freezer for a while. Hopefully, um, because they are doing salt and vinegar flavour, the flavour I would also really like them to make into a chip or potato shape, if you will. Bear with me on this. Cheese and chive flavour. Come on. Come on. Anyway, also, uh, interestingly, when it comes to their um, chip range, you know, exclusive partnerships with crisp companies and stuff like that. A couple of weeks ago, I did the McCoy's Grilled Beef um, Potato Shape. I really am dying here. Potato Shapes. Um, they also do Ready Salted. What's the point? Um, but they also do salt and vinegar. So that's definitely going to be in one of these upcoming videos. Oh, by the way, this is a combiner war. Um, and um, they also do cheese and onion. Cheese and onion crisps. Chips? Crisps? Oh, brain fart. Cheese and onion chips. Um, potato shapes, but they're more like wedges. I am totally sold with that. Let's have a quick look and see what the cooking instructions are for these bad boys. In case you're interested... There are the traffic lights, um, moderate fat, moderate saturates, um, very low in sugars, 
uh, and high in salt. But it's a Friday. Friday is my fat day, pun intended. How long do we cook them for? We cook them at gask, gask, gask. 200 degrees Celsius, gas mark 7, 12 to 15 minutes. Right, dependent upon how long the other thing takes, which I'll show you momentarily, um, 12 or 15 minutes is up in the air. Ingredients, potato, 76%, sunflower oil, flavouring. Um, okay, so flavouring is third. It just says flavouring, but obviously I'm assuming that would be the salt and vinegar flavour. Hula hoops aren't the strongest and don't have the mightiest bite when it comes to salt and vinegar, but I'm hoping they are strong because I like my salt and vinegar to blow my head off. Now, here's what we have next. Um, Iceland, cooked from frozen, chilli cheeseburger, pie. That's what sold me. Serves two, two chilli rating, new. Look at that. This is new. I have not seen this um, before. This is in their kind of barbecue-y, grilly section um, because it's in that, uh, which might be um, why I haven't seen it before, but that's where the beef kebabs, the flaming hot, scarily spicy Carolina Reefer beef kebabs were. Bought a few more of those. They were reduced because they've been discontinued because they were limited edition, but they were epic. But this is in that section. Anyone who's been there will know what I mean. They have like sizzle steaks, things like that. Sold. Absolutely sold. I really am suffering. I really should possibly just have a sandwich before I do this part of the video, just to ease my way through. Um, yeah, because uh, pastry, pastry, cheeseburger, chilli, what's not to love about that? Hopefully it will live up to it. Obviously it's kind of an, um, an open face, an open top pie, if you will. Maybe they're trying to be a little bit artsy fartsy, um, a little bit gastro, if you will. But it looks absolutely phenomenal. Some reconstructive surgery may be in. Look at that. Some reconstructive surgery may be in order because there's a load of cheese on the bottom of the tray. I will fix that when I bake them because I'm going to bake two. I'm going to have one with these as my genuine lunch um, because I am quite peckish and I'm going to save the other one for later and maybe see what it's like cold or reheated I don't know because you can eat cold pies I don't like cold pies I like cold pucker pies just so you know anyway they look quite substantial um, it says serves two hence the fact that there were two pies uh, and it says 386 um, grams so let's have a look at the ingredients and the cooking instructions cooking instructions first I believe how to cook for best results, cook from frozen. The following instructions are guidelines only. Ensure the product is thoroughly cooked and piping hot before serving. Why, whom decided that piping is the word you have to put? Not just on this, but every frozen product to suggest that it is hot enough to consume without making you sick. I don't know, just a random thought. Gas mark um, six, 200 degrees Celsius. See, I've talked about this before and I don't understand it. 45 minutes right they're going in for 15 minutes that means that goes in for 30 minutes then they go in i'm going to do them on the same baking tray half and half so i can stick them at the top of the oven because it seems to be working quite well for me just looked in there I need to puff my hat out uh, hat out um, a little bit more there anyway right 45 minutes but yeah so gas mark six 200 degrees celsius gas mark seven 200 degrees celsius maybe if i I haven't got my phone. I was just going to Google them. Google what is a gas mark and just work out. I mean, is there a range? Is it surely if it's a gas mark, then it should be a specific temperature, not a range. How, why I'm doing this with my hands, I have no idea. Anyway, I'm absolutely starving. As I said, this is my genuine lunch. Very much looking forward to this because it's a pie but it's a cheeseburger and it has chilli. Granted, it's only a two chilli rating. I said I don't generally get out of bed for anything less than a three chilli rating, but I'm sold on the fact that it's a pie more than anything else. And I have had, two, I'm so hungry I can't talk properly, digesting myself from the inside. I have had two chilli rated products um, that are ready meal wise from Iceland, in fact, that have made me go, hmm, not blow my face off, but. Hmm. But I did not buy these 
because they are hot. Anyway, something else, quick nibble. Why do I have to put it on a baking tray and you've put it in a foil tin? Granted, foil is more easily recyclable than a lot of other things. And hell, you could take these things out, you could find a use for it even before it gets recycled. But it's in your barbecue range and it's on foil. Possibly you could, I guess, but I don't understand this. Take it out, here you go, it's a metal dish, but take it out and put it on a another metal dish. Anyway, um, ho-hum, as always, you can kind of see chili. Anyway, as always, I do this cooking process. I say in real time, but obviously I edit it afterwards. But I do this process in real time, so hopefully the oven is preheated. Um, and let's go downstairs and see what this bad boy looks like. Whoa, whoa, whoa there, Dave. Steal your horses. We did not read the ingredients because obviously, pretty sure, pretty sure you don't care, but I do this. And more so, I'd like to know what it is. Um, so anyway, chili beef burger. 47%, that's the first ingredient. So it just says chili chief burger, so obviously um, the chili is infused straight away into the pate. I do like that. Um, beef, breadcrumbs, wheat, because obviously in capitals and darkened font, because obviously people can't be expected to police their own diets. Um, that was annoying me, sorry. Flour, water, salt, yeast, yeast. interesting. Cayenne pepper, paprika powder, cumin, not so much a fan of that, um, salt, super dried, sugar, sugar, salt, sugar, I'm going to say super dried onion, <laughs> dried garlic, chilli powder, um, so that's interesting, we've got all these ingredients, puff pastry, 37%, more wheat, um, we've got all these ingredients, but the, the, all the hot ingredients, are above my finger so that actually bodes well even though it's only a two chili rating but as I just said I did not buy that uh, buy this for that anyway let's go back downstairs I haven't actually been downstairs yet but you know what I mean okay oven is preheated what I've actually done is I've taken the um, the hula hoops and put them back in the freezer because I don't want them to go soft and you are supposed to cook them from frozen and this is gonna take half an hour they could somewhat semi ha uh, i said semi defrost so they're back in the freezer we'll see what they look like and smell like when we um we bring them back and open them basically right wrapping off what does that smell like hmm well i can smell the cheese um even though i just said there's a decent amount of you know at the top of the uh, the ingredients list so called Chilly, hot stuff. I don't know why I said it's so cool. Doesn't really smell hot or anything like that. Can kind of see some chili esque things um, going on. But again, I bought these because they're a pie. Anyway, look. Look at that. There is some heft there. There is some heft there. So it's an open top pie. It's a posh pie, if you will. And obviously, the cheeseburger nature of it will be the topping. So let's reapply it. Some for you. Some for you. Get the stragglers out of the corner. See, that's my fault for flipping it when I read it, uh, when I was in the supermarket and stuff like that. So obviously, why didn't I just take the cardboard off? I probably look like a bit of a knobhead doing that in the supermarket. And read it, or suspicious, I should say, uh, and then put it back on because... See, don't want to lose your precious, precious cheese. Right, 25 minutes to, but for accuracy as always, this is the new standard start. Um, let's bang it in the top of the of half an hour. Oh, but, but Marge, I want it now. Marge, can you set the oven to cold? Sorry, right. There we go. So, uh, see you bad boys in half an hour. Right, so it's coming up to five past, which means I better go and get the other ones um, from the freezer. Yes, our freezer's in a shed because it's so big and look how much of the, ha how much of the house it would take up. But also look at all the cool things I've got for other fat Fridays. 
for coming out to say hello, Buble. Oh well, none for you then. Right, so coming up to uh, 30 minutes, I've got these out of the freezer. They've basically, they're nice and crispy again. Like I said, I wanted to make sure I was cooking them properly. So ideally cook them properly from frozen. They'd probably be all kinds of soft and squidgy by now. You know, because half an hour and stuff. So let's get these bad boys out the oven. Obviously, whew. oh, look at that. Still 15 minutes to go, but they look absolutely fantastic. Oh, look at that. Oh, they smell fantastic as well. So, oh, dying already. Let's get some of these bad boys on there. I can tell you, these really, really smell very very salt and vinegary i mean um i'm not so doubted it's not, it's not that i doubted they would but you know they're not the strongest um the 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 actual crisp the original crisp not like i said it's not the strongest but they you know they're stronger than most so i was hoping well to be honest ever since i had that song tangents i know salt and vinegar um battered harry ramsden fish Everything should be tasting like salt and vinegar, but is that enough? Is that enough? I don't know. What do you think? Is that enough? Very specifically putting extra ones on. That'll do. Right. Let's get this back in the oven. 15 more minutes. I'm starving. I am officially fucking starving. Now I'm going to put that at the back. So. In you go. I know, I've bought the glue, the thermal glue to um, fix that. I've just been incredibly lazy. Right, um, let's get this resume. 15 more minutes, just for, I don't know, shits and giggles. That's 20 past on the regular clock. Oh, thank God for that. I'm absolutely starving. Um, this kitchen smells phenomenal. I can smell a little bit of chilli. I can definitely smell um, like a, a very beef smell, but what's weird is I can actually smell, um, I don't know what, you know, sort of other herbs and spices there are in this, but I want to say I can smell Worcestershire sauce, which obviously I can, but it certainly smells fantastic. Um, let's get out of the oven and see what it looks like. Well, they, they were looking banging. Um, let's double up that. I don't want to burn myself, you know, with 15 minutes to go. Oh, look at that. Oh, squeaky, squeaky, that's my shoe, sorry. Right, that. Oh, there is a chilli smell, actually. There is a chilli smell. That smells absolutely fantastic. The pastry has browned off nicely. Um, there is, well, I'm guessing that's from, you know, defrosting, but there's a little bit of chilli juice and obviously beef juice going on. Oh, see, it was definitely worth doing them, putting them back in the freezer and doing them from frozen. Still smell of salt and vinegar, actually. I don't know why I went on squeaky voice then. It's a sign of my um, me being famished. Let's plate this bad boy up and see what it tastes like. These, I, 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 th I really think, clearly I'm having that one. Um, these could have potential. I have smelt some pretty fantastic smells in the 18 months that I've been doing this series in that kitchen and coming from the oven, but this is definitely up there amongst the best. It smells absolutely phenomenal. I, it was weird. I said, I'm dying. I said it was, you know, there was a slight smell of Worcestershire sauce, but I'm wondering if that is because obviously salt and vinegar um, hula hoops. Now there's obviously, I said they didn't smell that salt and vinegary. Now they're in a rather large concentrate. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that pie. Um, definitely smell of salt and vinegar. So maybe that had something to do with it. But that just smells fantastic. There's a definite little tickle at the back of my throat when I smell that. Cheese and seasoned beef and chilli I can smell. Look at this, look how the pastry has browned off. That looks absolutely phenomenal. And I can confirm it is a pie because it does have a bottom. It's not like a pastry um, tube. It's just lacking a top, but obviously 
that's um, kind of made up by the cheese that's melted over it. I am very much looking forward to this. Um, I forgot to mention the price. The silver vinegar, I threw out my receipt. I actually got a receipt, but I threw out my receipt like a numpty. So um, I'm pretty sure the hula hoops are certainly no more than two pounds. And as for the pies, they might be a two pounds and change, a pinch over two pounds. But this is Iceland and they are seldom, you know, very expensive on anything. Anyway, fire extinguisher of choice, I've already cracked open my beverage, is knockoff supermarket diet lemonade. It is back in cans. It is back in cans. Um, as for diet supermarket knockoff lilt, um, that's still MIA for some reason. I do not know why. In both cans and bottles. Lemonade's never really left us in bottles, but as I've told you many times, I don't like drinking bottles because um, they just go they just go flat so quickly. Right, I'm going to use my fingers for these. Right, these are like crisped up nice and proper. Like, as I said, the beef ones of these had form, so I really hope these are strong. So anyway, we'll just try one on its own, then I'll get a gob full, but two tears of the bucket. Oh, ooh, delicious, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. Crispy on the outside, fluffy on the inside, a descriptive term that I use on chips in this series of videos um, far too often, but that's what you want from these things, even though obviously potato shaped and not chips, but A definite hit of salt vinegar. Mmm, definite. Excuse me when I be a pig, but let's get a load. Mmm. These are fantastic. Honestly. They're like potato crack. They, they taste very much of salt and vinegar, not to the point where it's too much, which I would have kind of liked, but I don't know how you flavour potato, like the, you know, I guess it's a different process than it is the crisps. But they are strong, they are strong, they're definitely strong. Be interesting to see what the McCoy salt and vinegar crisps, crisps, um, potato shapes taste like. Mmm. These are fantastic, but they're not as strong in flavour as the beef hula hoop um, potato shapes are. But then, to be fair, you could argue that that follows with the um, actual crisps themselves, because the beef is the strongest of um, the flavours. So maybe these are just being accurate. Either way, they're so bloody Morris. Mm. I'm going to say, that I actually prefer these, even though they're not as strong um, as the beef ones. Obviously, that's strong beef and not salt and vinegar. You know what I mean. Um, that I prefer these. I'd love to try these in a sandwich, seriously. Oh, that one's particularly strong. Palate cleanse. Ah, Windy Pops. I'm going to cut this in half because I want to see what it looks like um, inside. I'm not just with a bite out of it from my gob. Oh no, see the thing is, you probably shouldn't eat it like that, but we all know it would be fantastic just to wrap into it like a burger. There's some resistance. Oh, as soon. I'm going to try this knife. As soon as you pop the top, it obviously, another smell comes out. Very, very, very beefy. Absolutely fantastic. That smells phenomenal. It's like a, basically, it's like a cheese and beef cake. That's what it feels like, or looks like. Let's see if I can get that open a bit more. Surgery was successful. Look at that. Look at that, that looks absolutely fantastic. So, I would go and say that it's definitely a patty in there. 
excuse me, windy pops. It's definitely a patty in there and not just like minced beef. Um, and then obviously you can see the cheese layer on top and you've got the nice crispy pastry on the outside. I'm going to cut, stop dropping shit on the floor, a piece, oh, the smell off the, um, the edge. And get, get, oh, look at that. That smells amazing. He says, and all the beef fell off. There we go. Excuse me, I'm gonna have to, oh, that smells phenomenal, be a pig. Mmm. Mmm. That's phenomenal. That is unbelievably nice. And now there's a little tickle. There's a, I definitely have something at the back of my throat. It's not unbearable. Um, you know, it's not going to make you sweat or anything. I'd say it's been used more as a kind of seasoning, but yeah, yeah, back of my throat's got a line across it. Back of my throat's gone. That's really, really nice. First thing you get is the really nice crispiness of the pastry. Definitely adds something to it. You know, nice, crispy, crunchy pastry. And then you get the cheese come through. Um, you can definitely taste it, even though it looks like it's kind of dried off on top. But I think, based on the cover, that's what they were going for. That's what you get next. And it's really nice, really, really strong, nice, beefy taste. And the last thing you feel is that little tickle of heat. And you get the taste of the chilli, like a kind of really nice seasoned taste. These are phenomenal. Honestly, eating them might prove somewhat a tad um, difficult. I would suggest, obviously I'm not going to on here, eat them like a bloody cake, seriously. But let's get another go. Mmm. Mmm. Leave no man behind. It's a builder. Who knew? I mean, it's too chilly, right? I can definitely feel it at the back of my mouth, but you could taste it in that mouth, uh, that mouth bite. I got a proper, you know, chilly, nice chilly taste. It was absolutely fantastic. I definitely recommend sucking it up and eating it like a pie looking like a filthy bastard because eating it like this so i don't look like a slob it's not that easiest of things it loses points for that it's a little difficult to eat right but honestly mm. That's fantastic. It's really lean beef as well. There's no gristle. Um, there's no fats. It's nice quality beef. Um, but it's a builder. My throat's stepping up and up and up. Not like when you eat stuff that's like four or five chili rating, but it's stepping up. I have a definite warmth in the back of my throat. But the thing is, let's try some pastry on its own. The thing is, this isn't really about heat. It's more used, I guess, more of a seasoning. But I can feel it, I can taste it, it goes with the meat really rather well, I have to say. And the pastry, the pastry is absolutely fantastic. This is a surprise to me. Um, I don't know if it's been done before, but a burger pie. A burger pie with puff pastry around the outside. Absolutely fantastic. They're new. I don't think they're um, limited edition. The... Um, the salt vinegar hula hoop potato shapes are absolutely fantastic. Better than the beef ones, even though they're not as strong. Just, they're just nice. I love salt vinegar. Very generally impressed with this. This is an absolutely fantastic fat Friday. As soon as I turn that off, going like that and eating it like a cake. Thoroughly recommend it. Um, yeah. Chili cheese um, burger pie by Iceland and hula hoop salt vinegar potato shapes. Also by Iceland in a combiner's war. Fantastic. Absolutely thoroughly recommend these to you. Try to get away with a stealthy windy pops there. Anyway, fail. Anyway, as always, I'd love to know what you think, especially if you have tried these. And this pie, this pie is 
phenomenal. It's not the most attractive thing to look at when you've been, you butchered it with a knife and fork, but I can assure you it tastes absolutely fantastic. Anyway, I'm going to finish this because I'm starving. As always, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you later.